getting ready to freeze dry some bananas. First, I got to put them in the freezer. Harvest right. Going to prep these for the freezer. Hi everybody, welcome to the Mythical Forest with Dee Dee and Boris in the Mythical Kitchen. And I am going to be, guess what? <laughs> freeze dry bananas. So I'm going to bring you along with me and show you the end result, but I'm going to get these onto the freeze dryer harvest ripe trays and um, we'll be back once I get to the next step. Okay, everybody, I want to show you a method that I'm trying. So if you watch my other videos, um, I did the bananas really fat like this. And I placed them upset like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Like that. All right. And it takes a long time for them to freeze dry, dry, but I like them like this. Um, but I'm trying a new method. I'm going to have you guys go along with me on this. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm doing them side by side like this because I feel like I can get more banana in there, but I'm not sure. So I'm just cutting it like this. Like coins. Yeah, and I'm sliding sliding them in. That's kind of gooey. Hold on. I'm putting the gooey ends here. Um, and then I'm just kind of, that one doesn't fit, but you see how I'm sliding them in sideways instead of, instead of, uh, instead of facing mm -hmm. this way, mm -hmm. I'm going this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm, to make it easier, I'm just kind of taking the banana just going like this. Like that. Dance. Okay, not really. I'm just anyway. I just wanted to show you guys this method that I'm trying. It's an experiment, and like I always tell you guys, everything we do is like an experiment. So we will okay. see, and you. We will could see. make a pie out of this, or some kind of you could. Uh, banana custard off of the bad. Yeah, ends. we could do that. Yep, yeah, we could do that. They're just a little mushy, and I'm just trying to keep everything consistent in the freeze dryer. But yeah, you could do that. I could mush it up for you and give you like a little baby banana. You know how babies eat mushed up bananas? Oh, oh well, you know what we can make? Oh, we can make some peanut butter and banana sandwiches tonight for dinner. Oh, that would be bomb. Okay. Make sure not too many yucky pieces go no, in there. No, the, yeah, guess what? Like the, this the, one, look, 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 these little ends. Yeah, uh, okay. Well, listen, yeah, yeah. When, when the bananas go a little, a little mushy, they're sweeter. So they're not bad. As long as they're not rotten, they're not they're like bad. Platinous. They're like platinous. Yeah, so Anyway, that's it. We will just, oh, I'll, I'll be with the next step. Next step. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we got the bananas in. Tells you to load the trays. It uh, warms it up for 50, I mean, cools it down for 15 minutes first. We got all these loaded in here, pre-frozen. Ooh. Well, it's hard to do this with one hand. Just wanted to show you all the pre-frozen trays. Bananas galore. Now, important thing I do is I like to wipe this seal down real good so that I get a nice seal. And I wipe it down with a wet cloth because it seems to get a better seal when I do that. And that's it. We make sure you have this black line all the way around, and then we're going to hit continue. Okay, what I meant was we're not going to hit continue till we close the drain valve. That's very important. Close the drain valve, and it'll tell you here to do that. All right, so now we're going to hit continue. And then it's going to probably be about 30 hours, so we'll see you then. Okay, everybody, let's check. It's 58 hours. I let it go a little bit longer because at 30 hours, it's never ready for me. So I'm, I'm not, not even being ready now, but 58 hours. All right, so you see where it has extra drying time. I put extra drying time, um, and I did like eight more hours. So let's check. So what you do is you go to the arrow down. So you can go, so if it's not, I can put more time. Okay, so I'm just gonna go zero it out. All right, and now, now I'm gonna go take, open the drain valve. We're gonna check it. If it's 
not ready, we can always add more dry time. Open it and see if it'll touch. open it by itself. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I, I should have opened it earlier. Alright, let's check. Everything feels warm, so that's a good indication. There may be some that's not dry, but I believe we're going to go for it. I believe we're going to go with um, quickly. I'm going to see this top rack. Does it feel dry? Okay, you know what I'm going to do for, for right now? I'm going to take these out. Yeah, they don't feel dry. I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to turn this thing back on. With that in there, let's see what happens. Make sure you bring all the way around. More dry time. So now it's going to tell me close the drain. Close the drain. Continue. Hit continue. And let's let's put two more hours. Two, three. Let's just put, there we go. And we'll come back. So I'm going to take these in. Meet me in the kitchen if you want to pause that. Okay, so uh, I've got my hands washed real good. I like, I prefer, like I've told you, to use bare hands. So I've washed my hands really good. And the reason I like to do bare hands is because I like to feel if they're cold. If anything is cold, you, uh oh, let me cut this open. You absolutely don't want to put it in that bag for 20 years, that's for sure. Because one. One with a little moisture will ruin the whole batch. So everything needs to be dry. Any of these that, then you got your oxygen absorber. And this is the Mylar bag. I already got it labeled. I don't know about y'all, but I, I don't feel like that that's the way to spell banana. It don't look right. It, to me, it needs to have another N. It looks funny to me. You know how you say a word? And yeah. you're like, that word doesn't sound right. Okay, so look. See, these are ready. See that? That's ready. Right. So some of these you'll feel, and you got to quickly get it in the bags. Because if you don't, the moisture, and it's really humid today, so the moisture will, uh, literally will get back in. So you got to move quick. And I'm just pulling these apart. I don't have to do that, but... You see how, see how I, when I cut the banana up? <laughs> that might have been a banana. <laughs> and I just did it and, and, and they stuck together. So, we see? The you Lord see should see? make them like that, sliced up. Yeah, just you put see? put them in the... Yeah, see? Double banana. But they're sliced. It's just they stuck together. So, some, some of these look all right. So, the ones that are not, the ones that are not right... Are gonna go in, 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 in the jar. The ones that are like that I feel are not ready. So yeah. So, so sometimes I feel like they might have moisture in them, and it's kind it's kind of makes me nervous because I don't want to like ruin the whole batch. But yeah, you hear that? They seem they're not cold in the middle. That's what I'm checking for. That feels a little. And this is like the... This is to eat this week, so it won't matter. It's a little sticky. All right, so we're just going to try. I'm trying to go through these real quick because I'm um, the moisture and the air just really takes on quick. And then whenever I'm eating... Uh -uh. You want me to help? No, but you can have that one since you touched it with your dirty hands. Crunchy. Mm. Let me taste one. Mm. It'll be great in your cereal. In cereal in the morning. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. This is yeah. a mythical forest banana. If you freeze dry, if you're going to freeze dry these bananas, you can let that banana get super ripe like I did. Because then it's going to be sweeter. We gave some to a friend and they were like, oh my God, I didn't realize it was so sweet. But the fruit tastes really sweet when you freeze dry it. Let me get another oxygen absorber for this. Is this bad? 
And that's about it. I'm going to um, seal this up because I don't like to let it sit even for a minute. Because this oxygen, oxygen absorber. This is the old faithful sealer. Yep. Okay, thank you. So we, we then, shall. Yeah, so um, I'll let you know about the other batch. But I'm just going to go ahead and fill this up. These, these feel like they're all right. Look at that. Look at that. That's an arsenal of sliced up banana. Yeah. End of the world Let's situation, we track. could use that as currency. Yeah. <laughs> Here, you get yeah, one chip. Like, chip. Yeah, these are, these are good. You could use this as currency. That's a long currency. time. Now, if you wanted to spend less time on your free, in your freeze dryer, you could, I could have sliced these up real thin and put less on the tray and all that. But then you're going to still have to freeze dry another batch. So you might as well do a 40 hour instead of two 20 hour and get it all done in one day. I mean, all in one, you know, sitting. So that's why I did it like this. So I didn't want to, uh oh. Let's see now that. Uh, uh, uh. That looks like I didn't even cut that one, but I did, I thought, maybe I didn't. So, these are so great for snacks when you want to have something sweet instead of candy or something, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, you can put them in cereal or whatever, but I like them for snacks that keeps me from having a sweet tooth after you eat a meal or something. In the, you know, if you have breakfast and you want, you have a little sweet tooth or something after a meal. So, okay, let's uh, let's show them how we seal it. Let's go over here. Let's look at the sealer. So, I always try to take as much air out as possible and then let it settle in. Take all of the air out like this. And then you much air out as possible and then zip that zipper seal that zipper up and then you can leave that on high and I seal it it's a hot seal and the light goes out when you're done when it's done and I try to do it like three times all the way up to the top and you could go All right, so that's it. Ooh, that's hot. Be careful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the last tray is done at 61 hours. <laughs> Imagine that. So, I believe these are ready. Look at that. <laughs> so, anyway, we're done. I'll load this up. And I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And if uh, you're in bed about to go to sleep, I hope you have sweet dreams. And if you can't sleep, watch one of our sleep videos in the PlayStation. All right? One more thing. I want to show you guys how much water came out of that banana freeze dry. That's a lot of water. very interesting how this water comes out clear that's that's from the sticky tape let me show you guys real quick what I do with the hose let me pause it okay so I have like sticky tape that I have on the hose and I stick it on the edge of the bucket like that because if I ever accidentally turn the freeze dryer on without closing the um, vent, this water will suck up and go into the freeze dryer, so it's really bad. So, I make sure that this hose is not touching, so I keep it here like that. Plus, it also helps that if the hose doesn't accidentally uh, get out and spill onto the floor.